Regeneration mixed up the synapses in the brain, sometimes resulting in negative after effects. Audio. The Lady in the Lake. During the first few hours of the regeneration, the Time Lord could suffer from confusion, erratic behavior, extended periods of unconsciousness, or memory loss. TV. Spearhead from Space, Robot, Castro Valva, Doctor Who, The Christmas Invasion, Audio, The Lady in the Lake, Al. Motor control could be impaired. The Eleventh Doctor expressed difficulty, steering, his new body, having walked into a tree minutes earlier, and a Time Lord could suffer random spasms as the regeneration settled. TV. The Eleventh Hour. The Tenth Doctor noted, energy deficiency, was common after regenerating, which could lead to an increase in appetite to supplement the energy loss. TV. The Lazarus Experiment. The Thirteenth Doctor explained a Time Lord had new instincts upon regenerating. They must trust these instincts to shape their personality. Until then, the Time Lord had no clue what kind of person they had become. TV. The woman who fell to Earth. The Tenth Doctor stated that he would have no clue what kind of person he would become until he experienced new things. TV. The Christmas Invasion. However, it was possible for Time Lords to retain a quirk or choice throughout their lives, such as the Doctor's Promise, TV, The Day of the Doctor, and the Corsair's Tattoo. TV. The Doctor's Wife. The Doctor, in particular, seemed to be highly susceptible to post-regenerative side effects. After their first regeneration, the second Doctor had some confusion over his own identity, although he adjusted to his new body reasonably quickly. TV. The Power of the Daleks. The Doctor's third incarnation was incapacitated for some time after a forced regeneration by the Time Lords. TV. Spearhead from Space. Likewise, their fourth incarnation suffered acute delirium and memory loss and was placed under bed rest for a few days until he regained consciousness. TV. Robot. It took a while for the newly regenerated fifth doctor to remember his own identity, experiencing fainting spells and sudden spurts of alternating energy and fatigue until he stabilized. TV. Castro Valva. Their sixth incarnation confused myths with reality, resulting in him trying to strangle Perry before coming to his senses, and experienced erratic mood swings of enthusiasm or depression until he became reasonably stable. TV. The Twin Dilemma. The Seventh Doctor was sufficiently weakened that the first Rani was able to effectively brainwash him. TV. Time and the Rani. The Eighth Doctor suffered from amnesia and emotional instability, after having been declared dead for some time prior to regenerating due to the anesthetic that had been used on his previous body. TV. Doctor Who. The War Doctor showed no after-effects after regeneration. TV. The Night of the Doctor. As Ohila's elixir assisted in the process. Pros. The day of the Doctor, the Ninth Doctor mentioned being, not quite calibrated, after regeneration, and likened himself to a soft-shell crab waiting to harden, pros, the Beast of Babylon, and the newly regenerated Tenth Doctor spent hours unconscious after an initial burst of wild enthusiasm. TV. The Christmas Invasion. Immediately post-regeneration, the Eleventh Doctor craved various foods, which he hated upon tasting them. TV. The Eleventh Hour. At the start of a new regeneration cycle, the Twelfth Doctor experienced severe memory loss, forgetting how to pilot the TARDIS, TV, the time of the Doctor, and spent the next few hours in a delirious state. He was unable to remember names and distinguish people from each other, to the point that he confused Clara Oswald with both Handels and Strax. TV. Deep breath. The Thirteenth Doctor began her life with some amnesia, unable to remember her own name. However, Most of her memories and all of her intellect remained intact. Like the Tenth Doctor, she passed out and slept for a long period of time to recover, expelling regeneration energy while she was asleep. Though she was also awoken early due to circumstances, she did not suffer serious health complications like the Tenth Doctor did. She later regained access to her memories after an adrenaline rush from confronting Tseem Shah. TV. The Woman Who Fell to Earth. On two occasions, the Doctor crashed the TARDIS following regeneration. First when the Tenth Doctor compulsively sped up the TARDIS and hit it against a wall in the Powell Estate, TV, Children in Need Special, The Christmas Invasion, and again when the Tenth Doctor's regeneration into the Eleventh damaged the TARDIS, causing it to crash land into a garden shed in Ledworth. TV, The End of Time, The Eleventh Hour, The Thirteenth Doctor was thrown out of her TARDIS after damage dealt by her regeneration caused an explosive malfunction. TV. Twice upon a time, 
as regeneration involved completely rewriting a Time Lord's biodata and exposing it to the Time Vortex. For a time, the Eighth Doctor speculated that his raw biodata was responsible for the transformation of his companion Sam Jones from her original dark-haired, self-destructive self into his blonde-haired, perfect, companion. As his biodata was particularly exposed after his traumatic regeneration and the opening of the Eye of Harmony. However, Professor Daniel Joyce dismissed this theory for Blonde Sam's existence as impossible as the Doctor could never have had that degree of unintentional influence on a complete stranger. Although he admitted that the basic concept of Time Lord biodata rewriting another person's biodata wasn't completely impossible if there was greater pre existing contact between them. Pros Unnatural history. A zero room could help with the regeneration recovery process, as it removed all outside distractions. TV. Castro Valva. After his first regeneration, the second doctor implied that the TARDIS itself helped the process along. TV. The power of the Daleks. The second doctor helped a dying Parvo to regenerate by bringing the other Time Lord into his TARDIS. Audio. The black hole. The eighth doctor offered to take Sandon into his TARDIS, as well, to help with the latter's first regeneration. Audio. X and the Daleks. After regenerating, the tenth doctor said he needed the TARDIS. In some cases proper rest helped a Time Lord's mind heal, but waking too soon prolonged the need of it. It was referred to as a neural implosion. He later explained that some tannin in tea helped heal the synapses, accelerating the healing process. TV. The Christmas invasion. Were a Time Lord knocked unconscious, the whole process might start all over again. Pros. The power of the Daleks. Indeed. The fourth doctor thought that he had regenerated again without noticing when the brigadier told him he had changed, referring to his clothes, not his appearance. TV. Robot. However, this was not a certainty. TV. The eleventh hour. As it seemed that sleep would help a Time Lord recover from post-regenerative delirium. TV. Spearhead from space. Robot. The Christmas invasion. Deep breath. The woman who fell to earth. After a while, the Time Lord's body would settle down though they could regrow lost limbs within the first 15 hours of the regeneration due to residual energy. TV. The Christmas Invasion. Let's kill Hitler. The residual energy also provided a Time Lord with significantly greater endurance. The Twelfth Doctor fell out of a tree but remained unaffected by it. TV. Deep Breath. The Thirteenth Doctor fell out of the stratosphere and into a train without suffering any major damage, even reacting as if she had fallen from a simple loss of balance. TV. The woman who fell to earth, Melody Pond, following her second and final regeneration, not only used her regenerative energy to survive a hail of gunfire by Nazi soldiers but channeled it into a focus blast of energy that knocked out the entire squad. TV. Let's kill Hitler. Even after the physical transformation, changes could occur. The doctor was excessively tired after the third regeneration, falling asleep in many odd locations. TV. Robot. The fifth doctor's hair went from longer to shorter to longer in the space of a few days. Pros. Cold fusion. For a short time after regenerating, a Time Lord displayed greater strength than usual. The doctor's fourth incarnation was able to karate chop a brick in half shortly after his regeneration, though he failed to repeat the action once fully recovered. TV. Robot. While their eighth incarnation broke down a steel door with his bare foot immediately following his regeneration. TV. Doctor Who. Forced regenerations could also result in Time Lords losing some of their skills or memories in various incarnations. Some of these changes could be minor, such as the fourth Doctor reflecting that he was no longer able to make successful souffles, prose, heart of Tardis, while on two occasions, later Doctors were forced to mentally regress back to their third persona, when they found themselves facing a situation where the third Doctor's skills would be better suited to handle the crisis than their own abilities were. This happened during their sixth and seventh incarnations. The sixth doctor required the third skills at hand-to-hand -hand combat, pros, state of change, while the seventh felt that his technical expertise would be useful. Pros. Time worm, Genesis. The fifth doctor also notably lacked the hand-to-hand -hand combat skills of his two immediate predecessors, though he remained a fairly capable swordsman, TV, the king's demons, and the Twelfth Doctor expressed uncertainty about his ability to use a motorbike early in his life as he hadn't had a chance to test his current capabilities. Pros. The Crawling Terror. 
Post-regenerative amnesia could also be a problem, preventing the doctor's recall of crucial information, such as the sixth doctor forgetting about his predecessor's encounter with Catherine Chambers when he met a younger version of her despite his past self's attempt to leave a reminder, resulting in him being unable to avert Catherine's interest in acquiring cyber technology. Audio. The reaping, the gathering, personal tastes could also vary between different incarnations, such as the fifth doctor not being a particularly strong drinker. Audio, the kingmaker. While the fourth, TV, the twin dilemma, and sixth, prose, the quantum archangel, enjoyed the chance to get drunk, the fourth doctor expressing surprise at the attire he would fail in his sixth, audio, the light at the end, and eleventh bodies, prose, the roots of evil, when he caught glimpses of his future, the eleventh doctor enjoying football, TV, the lodger, while the twelfth considered it boring sport. <laughs> Audio. Lies. However, some Time Lords were able to regenerate with little or no overt complications, as in the case of Romana, TV, Destiny of the Daleks, and River Song, TV, Let's Kill Hitler, neither of whom appeared to experience any sign of incapacitation in their exploits immediately following regeneration. Both treated the change rather casually and acted as normal. TV. Destiny of the Daleks. Let's kill Hitler. The general showed no after effects after regenerating into her twelfth incarnation, in fact stating that she was, back to normal. TV. Hellbent. 